all inherited by William. Harry angry as Charles bestows William lavish estate in the West Country. Prince William has inherited a lavish estate in the West Country where it is thought King Charles wanted him to settle down with Kate Middleton. The rambling country estate at Harewood Park in Herefordshire was bought by the Duchy of Cornwall shortly before William went to university in Scotland. Royal watchers claimed Charles wanted to create a new high grove for his eldest son after he applied for planning permission to rebuild the Grand Mansion House on the estate, replacing the one demolished by the SAS in the 1950s, reports Gloucestershire Live. But it soon became clear that William had other ideas and the plans for a manor house were quietly dropped last year as he prepared to move to Windsor Castle with his wife and three children. However, he has now inherited the property as part of the £1 billion, 128,000 acre Duchy of Cornwall estate, which theoretically means he could revive his father's plans for a modern house fit for the future king. The Duchy acquired the 900 acre dilapidated property in 2000 and work started on an ambitious £9 million renovation of farmhouses, cottages, and other agricultural buildings three years later. Around the time William graduated, architect Craig Hamilton designed a Georgian-style mansion complete with lavish columns. The plans for the countryside mansion were approved by Herefordshire Council planners in November 2004. It was thought that Charles was creating a future family home for his son that would be within driving distance of his own Highgrove house estate in the Cotswolds where William grew up. In 2007, when William and Kate briefly split up, the Duchy successfully submitted alternative plans for a scaled-down six-bedroom mini-mansion. It looked traditional but was smaller and packed out with 21st-century environmentally friendly features. But that house was never built. Last year the Duchy confirmed it had finished its work at Harewood End and William and his family moved to Windsor while still retaining their first home, Amnor Hall, in Norfolk. William, the now Prince of Wales could theoretically do another U-turn and ask the duchy to create the grand home on the estate, although there are no indications that he will do so. William returned to Scotland to make a personal pilgrimage back to Balmoral for the first time since the funeral of his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II. The Prince of Wales is thought to have spent a weekend at Craigowen Lodge, which was one of Her Majesty's favourite bolt holes on the Scottish estate and was used on less formal occasions, where he went deer stalking. It would have been a bittersweet reunion for the first in line to the throne, who was last in Scotland just over a month ago as he rushed to be by the Queen's side as she died on the 50,000 acre estate on September 8. A source told the Daily Mail's Richard Eden, he stayed at Craigown Lodge, where Her Majesty used to stay. He was there just for the weekend. By stalking deer the prince follows in the footsteps of both his grandmother and his grandfather, Prince Philip, who introduced him and his brother Harry to it while they were boys. Deer stalking is the act of culling aging stags that would otherwise die in the winter, with William shooting his first when he was 14 years old, something that is said to have left him delighted at the time. The activity, which has been a shared passion among generations of the royal family, was encouraged by William's father King Charles III, while Princess Diana used to jokingly call him My Killer Wales. William is not thought to have been joined in Scotland by his wife Catherine, who is herself a keen Marks woman, and their children. A spokesman for Kensington Palace declined to comment. His return to the Scottish estate would have brought back memories for the prince, with it being just over a month ago that he and other members of the royal family rushed to reach the Queen's side as her health failed. William flew up to Scotland in the company of his uncles Prince Andrew and Prince Edward, but they, along with Prince Harry who made his own way there, were unable to reach Balmoral before Her Majesty died.